unless he's going to go down the road to, to, to stealing the election for a third time. Well, you know. But I he mean, doesn't need to. He's just going to do the executive order and just take over. He's No, he's going to win the election by 100%. <laughs> he's going to get all 50 states. All of them. Because he wants to outdo Reagan and show everyone that, that he's greater than Reagan. Right, right. So he, so there will be no votes. No, none. None. No. And anybody who tries to come forward and say, "Well, wait a minute, it's fraud," because I did vote, for, they're gonna, they're gonna put out the word. Anybody, anybody voted for Trump, or, or I should say, the Republican nominate nominee, come forward because we have a hundred percent, and they're all gonna. The guy who quiet. comes forward, He's the administration get... says, uh, "Do you know anything about that guy who made that movie?" <laughs> that video. Oh, he'll be in jail. You see, he knew about the guy who made the video. He won't even be in jail. He'll have his head lopped I off because we need to keep in compliance with the new Sharia law. I still, to this day, I can see the picture of that guy that they say they arrested that did the video with the hat on and the white face scarf thing and the is coat. Is he really still in prison? Is he? Is he even real? It may actually be a guy that they covered up and said, this is the guy. It was the White House spokes kid. Oh, <laughs> that's how he got his job. Was, they said, you do this for us and we will go ahead. And so the administration uh, spokes, uh, the administration um, muscle boss is Russian. Did I do a Russian accent? Yeah, a little bit. He slipped Russian. I, I thought we were doing Slurpees. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, oh. I can't do the Slurpee either. I don't know. I crush you. I, I must crush you. I must crush, I must crush. you. I, must crush. I love that phrase. And is it I will or must? I, I almost, I has to be must. Uh, the it reason must it's be. must is because it was communist Russia. And he may not have even wanted to. No, no. It's because he was ordered to. He knew he had to by orders. I must break you. Oh, oh I must break wait. you. I must break oh, you. Oh, wow. So, no, but the key is I must, must break you. Break you. Yeah. Which is whoever came up with that line is a brilliant genius because the logical thought was when you're drawing up on, you know, the, uh, what's that called? The, uh, the, the script. Oh, right, right. You're just writing. You're not even thinking very hard. You would say, I will break you. Right. But he says, I must, must. break you. We, it's, by, it's by law. Now, I've, if you, if you put made. that in the full context of what he was thinking, it is, look, man, I do not want to break you. Is he Jamaican? He might be Jamaican. <laughs> I'm not even Russian. They, they took me prisoner. I need to get back in the Slurpee. You want a spleef? See, I, <laughs> I just smoked the doobie. Whoa, you are Jamaican. Ho-hos and Twinkies for everybody. But I, I must break you yeah. because I've been ordered to. Right. And if I fail, they will break me. <laughs> <laughs> you know they, they will. will break they me. will break me. That was the ultimatum. <laughs> it was an offer I could not refuse. But anyway. So. Uh, it's Jamaican. Wow. It's so who? Amazing. Because he doesn't even look Jamaican. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> uh, it, 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 Lindsay. Gramnesty oh boy is attempting to uh pop his little weasel head up by saying uh and i quote you know how you can make america great again you need to do with his accent i can do his accent okay okay d wait uh, what where's the d one d the very first page d read that you know how you can make america great again as South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham citing Trump's infamous campaign slogan, tell Donald Trump to go to hell. <laughs> I got the perfect that Lindsey Graham. That was, That's how he does it. He told Donald Trump to do what? To go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I thought I was supposed to read the whole thing. What's he say after go to hell? I don't know. Is that the next line? No, it's. I just read the whole line. Okay. Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. And what's after that? Donald Trump is unhinged. <laughs> oh, oh, that was Jeb, Jeb Bush. That was Jebby. Wow. What does Jeb? No, I don't know. He doesn't how have does, an accent. Well, how does his brother have a hick jack accent? And Jeb is 
is and almost they, like Cary Grant. No, I got something even better for you. The whole family grew up in Connecticut. They should have New England accents. They should sound like Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. <laughs> they should. Just like Jeb Bush sounds like Marky Mark. But then he went to Florida and had to adopt their dialect. Oh, he said that he's down with the Cubans, too. They, uh, they like him. Apparently not enough. So it, it, Jeb Bush tweeted, <laughs> Donald Trump is unhinged. His policies and proposals are not seer i us hey, I, why, why do you, who who wrote this why do you put all those dashes pro pose are not seer i us why would you do that so they so we're reading from in the twitter actual oh in twitter he, he put that on twitter really he put the dashes on twitter because here's yeah. the thing about twitter you have to abbreviate wasting. right you have 160 or maybe it's 140 characters and that doesn't even include names and links and all that stuff so you can't be putting dashes in between your words. Well, look at what that, that Saudi prince said. I mean, that's insanity. Why would you go to the... You yeah. are a disgrace not only to GOP, but to all of America, period. See, even periods. Like, I, I try I don't to want... avoid... Well, here's what I like about periods. You can... You know, normally it, when you're typing... You would type a sentence. Right. It would end in a period. Right. Then what do you do right after the period? A space. Right. You can eliminate the space. Oh, you just, just go period and then start the next run off, capital keep letter. Keep running. Capital letter. And you know on Twitter it's just another state, another line. It, right. So you don't have to worry about putting the space there anymore. You just go period, capital letter. Because that's an end of thought. Start new thought. Right. And as or you're reading it, there. it might seem a little bit unprofessional, but on Twitter – you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I mean, it, like it's the most important thing to be able to get the full thought out in 140 characters. Right. Very, right. very, very. It takes a lot of skill. Okay. And now you've been bringing me up and learning me this Twitter thing. Okay. All right. Hashtags, at symbols, that stuff. Right. How come I see none of these high flu? highfalutin people ever hashtag or at symbol really? stuff like who because the that, good one the that one, saudi prince didn't well that might jeb bush didn't well that might be his first tweet too and i believe because he's an establishment guy okay. i guarantee you he has a staffer specifically hired to be the twitter pr guy okay that's all he does maybe he hired the wrong person i don't know normally what you want to do oh and also as a politician you sometimes don't want to get your stuff picked up very quickly. Oh. But as a tweeter, you would want, you know, as somebody that's not famous, you wouldn't want to use hashtags and the um, handles, Twitter handles, so the at, whatever your handle is. Right. As much as possible in your tweet so that it gets to as many people as possible. Really famous people have so many followers that they don't need to spread out that wide. They don't need the hashtags because uh, they're going to have like hundreds of thousands of followers anyway. As soon as they tweet, they all got it. Okay. Me personally, if I'm going to talk about global warming, I'll do a hashtag, whatever the most uh, popular global warming hashtag is for the day. I'll put that on there so that all the trolls on that, that are following that hashtag will see that I trolled them. Right. And they'll respond and they'll be like, oh, no, he didn't. And no, he didn't. No, you didn't. And then they'll respond and then it becomes a big, massive firestorm. Yeah. yeah oh, nice. Much it. Nice. Well, uh, Pat Buchanan. Oh, he's, who? He's what the left would be, consider a right wing extremist. A White House communications director uh, during uh, February 85 through 87 during Ronald Reagan's era. Oh, he was the one that covered up all the Jewish attacks. Apparently, okay. Apparently, he is also uh, by Wikipedia referred by the to way, as an American paleo conservative political commentator, uh, author, syndicate columnist, col columnist, missed uh, politician, and broadcaster. Wait a minute, what, what is a paleo? What? I don't know. A paleontologist would be the study of. Dinosaurs? So it's the old dinosaur conservative. No, they didn't. Click on it. Is it clickable? No, but it's not even clickable. Well, the word's not. 
Well, it's if it's in Wikipedia, like every other word's clickable, and then you know, whatever. Paleo conservatism, sometimes shortened by paleocon, is a conservative political philosophy found primarily in the United States, stressing tradition, limited government, and civil society, along with religious, regional, national, and Western identity. But what's the etymology of the paleo prefix? It seems like what they're saying is... Uh, You're old and crusty. Right. What? You, the founding fathers of this country would be considered paleo-conservatives. Or they're just relics at this point. <laughs> right. Okay. That is, that is really... So I bring Why up, do they own the language? Uh, well, and then in, in that other... Uh, um, sound clip we just listened to she she started to redefine what um what what was i don't know she, they, they, well you know that he, let me let me redefine that oh the left i'm so sorry this. we did not get to i'm blending sound bites we did not get to melissa heth perry right she does a redefinition of a definition does it include lots of lots of ths and thuses what's that <laughs> What is that? I don't know. <laughs> lots of ths uh, just jammed into lots of consonants and right. yeah, okay. So the reason why I bring up Pat Buchanan, he said, "quote," uh, because he's got to be an old white crusty dude, right? Right, right. So you got to talk like an old white crusty dude. Uh, if I were ISIS, what I would do is I would say. Look at the two characters. I thought you were doing, um, who's the old, uh, uh, secretary of state back in Reagan years or Ni Nixon years. Wow. What? Ah, I have to, look have to Google that one. Yeah. Uh, John lost my place. <laughs> oh my he goodness. lost your place. Uh, com look at the two com uh, characters commanding the entire media in the United States and still do for a week. Do one or two. Ooh more of these things they would one they would up one of their sleeper cells and get this done and we can elect and nominate and elect donald trump you are doing Her henry kissinger henry kissinger <laughs> and the great war of islam is on he said if you're okay let me sum this up because he was really incoherent because he's old you and were, crusty. You were. <laughs> he's old and crusty. You were doing Henry Kissinger. He didn't tell you what to do. What he's saying, ISIS, I'm now one of your advisors. I'm an advisor to you, ISIS. Listen to me. Here's what I advise you to do. Because you want the caliphate worldwide, right? Here's what you do. You help Trump to be elected, and it will be official the war of worlds is on. Uh, that was my argument uh, the other way. Was it two weeks ago when I said maybe they want an, an Islamic state so that they have somebody to declare war on? Remember that? Right, right. Without an Islamic state, all these terrorists are just a bunch of like tribal, you know, barbarians. So, so, so the Obama administration wants to assist and help them set up the Islamic State. Yeah, once we can get the Islamic State set up to where... Qualified, now bona fide you, state. Right. right, you are a country now, which state and country can be interchangeable, except in the United States. But anyway, um, that way, they can say, all right, now finally, we can declare war on you. And then they will. But you're saying that's ridiculous because Obama's a Muslim. Right, because if you wanted to declare war on... Islam or is Islam see it it's this weird thing that they're calling Islamic State however this organization is really just a, a fraction and part of Islam which is all of Iran all of Saudi Arabia I mean all these people they all believe the same thing in the Middle East it's all oh that's why this group is funded and Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Syria, all the governments are funding ISIS because they're not a real state and you can't attack my country because I'm not part of them. But yeah, I am funding them. So you're saying it will remain not a state. 
Right.